Hi, I'm Daniel, and it's Asheville Weekly, episode 48. Let's go and have a look at the state of it. We haven't got inside it yet. Out it comes. With why is this bang on? I'm a doer! You look like you're nasty things my way. I think we should actually check if it fits. Forward thinking. Where the bottom looks like it's gone. Where were you on the night of the 13th? That's not what I said. Silence is golden, golden. That's about how I'm feeling right now. Brav, come, stop filming this nincompoop. Hi, I'm Daniel, and this is Asheville. Today, we are at Euro Auctions in Leeds to sell six of our older manual lorries. That's the thing, you yeah. have to stretch yeah. it out. Okay. Uh, it's Tuesday. No, it's not. It's Monday. And I'm in the yard. Um, a couple of the boys were in earlier. Um, I spent a large part of my day writing a script um, for a new video we're gonna do, what explains all the differences between leasing, buying, renting, and putting a lorry on finance, all the pros and cons of that. I did wanna get to the gym, but I still haven't got there yet. Uh, Frighty is filming. Um, Jay is here. Jay and I are working on the auction video, which we hope is coming out on Wednesday. So we're just going through it and there's the little tweaks that we're going to do before we do an export and send it to Ara for him to sprinkle his magic. Tuesday morning, I'm in my car park. It's 5.43. I'm setting off a little bit later than I wanted to. I wanted to be in the yard at 6 a.m. so I can head off to collect those bins. Couldn't collect the bins yesterday because Ed couldn't get anyone to open up for me, but I'm gonna run down there and collect them this morning. If I go at seven, it means they've got a chance for all their lorries um, to get out and then uh, pull the bins out to make some space for us. So let's get to the yard. Noel um, wants some time off, but Noel being the man that he is with the sense of duty that he has, uh, he wants to do the main bits of work we want to do before he goes away. Getting these bins and getting these bins done is one of the major things that we need to do. If you remember last week, I was trying to get hold of the roll on roll off body, the ex army stuff. Now they haven't got back to me, albeit it was bank holiday weekend, but you know, I'm like, I just, <laughs> I just expect people to just answer their emails irrespective of what day of the week it is when I get back I want to put the security hut in place because um, tomorrow I'm on the road for a lot of the day and I, I really need to get these things in the yard out the way I need them done and dusted rather than talking about them continuously because you know I'm not a talker I'm a doer I'm a doer I'm a doer lads are off out see you later Peter no one's driven this yet he No one's in yet. Where is this key? Where have they hidden this key? Is this the key? Nice. I was just talking with the boys here before I leave. I asked them to get a shovel and a wheelbarrow and get rid of all this vegetation and scrape the road. Presentation is key, not just if we're gonna have an inspection, but it just looks a lot better if this is nice and clean. So we're gonna pull out all these little weeds all the way around here. The guys were, yep, the guys are refilling the lorry for me uh, so I can go out in it while I have a look around. And Simon has arrived. A few bits done in the yard. Lorry is refueled, Add blue done as well. First trip out on the road. Simon, the accountant, is my cameraman, heading out to the Isle of Dogs. Down in East London, gonna grab hold of our first bin, check in, yep, that is us. Let's get reversing. There we go. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, we're good. There we go. On the runners. Nice and clear. All good. There we go. Locks are on. First bin on the lorry. Looking good. Time to head back to the yard.
I love this magnet. Just going to pull forward a bit and then continue dropping it down. We're out. It's very late in the day now. I've got plenty to do in the yard. So I'm just going to um, park this up now. A successful first trip. And I was going to take a look around this and we're going to work out what we're going to do with it. But yeah, so far a good morning. Let's crack on. It's decent. Structurally, the bin looks good. You saw the way it went on the back of the Roro. Um, the locks were able to clamp on. Can't complain about that. I think we've done all right. The train has arrived. I'm just about to go and have a look and see how we get on over there. But before I do, um, the work that you saw taking place here on Saturday, it wasn't quite finished, so the boys have carried on and done a bit more today. The majority of the work is done. Uh, this area is getting whackered down. I'm thinking about where I'm going to put our security office. I'm definitely going to drop it outside today because if I don't drop it outside today, I'm never going to do it. So I'm thinking somewhere in this sort of area. So I may give this a little scrape back and use the machine, uh, use the forklift and move it over here. Plan has evolved. Um, we're going to move it. We thought we we're going to move it up there. Then we realized no, because when the Arctic's come in, they need to swing out before they swing in. So we're going to move it a bit further down here. Got to remember, whoever's here needs to see what's happening. Where is this man that was over here? No. As well as that, it's going to be now. Then when he comes out the barrier, he stands in front of it to yeah. talk to him. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We're well, gonna put the extensions on. Now, the forks weren't getting far enough under. So what Noel's doing is he's taking the forklift over there and there's some extensions that I bought. And we're gonna drop those extensions on and then come back and give it a lift. We lifted it a bit, put a brick in each corner. Now the forks can get underneath properly. Set it down on the bricks. There we go, a bit of teamwork. We're gonna put it right at the end of the, of the paving. So we've cleaned the area to get it as nice and flat as we can. We, no, we wanna get it more over here. We wanna get it further over. Down goes the container onto the bricks. Now we can pick it up again and try and get it as far across as need be. We're going for forks level with the back. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, okay, yep. The back bricks are out, but the front ones are still on. No, we're the tackers with the forklift. Can you push it? Yeah. Oh. All right, isn't it? What do you reckon? Fine job. Square, isn't it? Here's the idea. If the gate goes here, the person can step out of this, stand in front of the gate. Hello, maximum security, da 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 da, ID, date of birth, all of that sort of thing. Come back in here, press a button, lift it up. I know it's just a container, and I know we did it ages ago, but I, I, I do like, I am loving it. Now, I need a security barrier. Oh, it's all going on in here. General industry. So I've been looking all weekend for a second-hand security barrier. I'm looking online and people want silly money. I spoke to the guys who I bought the two Volvos off and they are saying they have a mechanism, an electrical one, just one end of it. So I'm thinking they're gonna send me some pictures. I might buy that and then um, Noel and I will get some bits and pieces and try to make the actual pole barrier bit and then we'll put an arm or a leg over there to support it when it goes up and down. That's the plan. I ain't going buying a new one. It's a waste of money. See, weekly yesterday you got that for the promoter, yeah? Oh, no, I didn't speak about the key for the Kubota. You did, in, in weekly yesterday it was on. No, I didn't. I it. You two were talking about a key for the no, Kubota. Man, and you said, oh no, that's my, that's my key. Oh yeah, because no one nicked my key for the for the for the for the. No. You're joking that my keys for the dumper. <laughs> huh? Did I give you back our keys? No, mine. 
Did you see the big spring that was in the bottom? To, for it to spring back to you, yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa, look at that. Security, security, security. General security. Now don't lose them keys, Terry. You've been entrusted with the security of the yard. I didn't throw them away. They've been on my desk for ages, they have. Why would you throw the keys away? Why would you just throw a set I'd of keys away? I'd never throw keys away. Hello, mate, I've got a meeting on site today. What's your name? John. Who's your meeting with? Uh, I've got a meeting with a fella called Terry. He's not about now. He's not around now. Uh, do you know what he looks like? Um, yeah, he's about that big, bald head, thinks he can fish. Good looking fellow, is he? Uh, that's not what I said. Um, you see, look, you had a security and Laurie's are just driving in and out. Hello, Peter. Whoop, we'll fly out. And David's here. It's decent, isn't it? It's all right, yeah. Terry, you know, you look like an RC Ting's my way. <laughs> it's decent, you don't seem like you're very excited. Bruv, there's a, there's a trench here, electric and data, run along the fence, going to security hut, little barrier there. It's like you're not excited. Sorry, sorry, sure. Hiding my, uh, my enthusiasm. Yeah, Ter Terry's got a poker face, really. Terry's gassed, he's mad excited. So this is the area uh, which I asked the lads to clean earlier. You see, it looks so much better with the vegetation gone. The road itself looks so much cleaner. Look at this. Appearances count. Wheel wash running well. Again, the vegetation gone from here. And let's have a look what's going on with this train. It's happening, it's happening. Again, you can see it's the new material coming in, not the previous material, what you saw, which was a large rock, which was about 130 mil to uh, 40, 50 mil. Now, you'll notice how quiet this is. Remember all the rocks you used to hear before? Dan, show the rocks and the sound the rocks made before. Now, now watch this when we release this material. No matter how high we are, listen to this. Hopefully the residents will be a lot happier with this sound. Silence is golden, golden. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can't hear a thing. And now when we load the lorries with the material as well, you can't hear a thing either. Just goes to show, a slight change in specification of material makes all the difference in the yard. already started working on this bin. We heated this up and used the bar behind it to try and straighten it. So it turns a bit better. You can see the black areas where it's been heated and this is a little bit freer. Now, as we move inside the bin, it's a really good bin, but there's just some small bits we're gonna work on. We're actually gonna leave that. We tried to heat it up, we couldn't do anything, but there's little bits like this, like this, as we go through the body, small bits. Here, here, some will be a patch on top of it, some we will just weld. Here we go again, here, here, this looks like teeth from a machine. Um, here, this will definitely be a patch, and here on the outside, I will show you now. Now Noel has already made this up. Now this, we are gonna weld on the side here because this one is broken. This is so when we're tipping, when we open the doors, we can take the chain, what you can see there, and we can attach the chain here. Because the last thing you want is to tip this bin up in the air and then the door to come back and close. You'll just, you'll damage the door straight away, so. Over here, you can see these access steps. Now we were gonna heat these up and try and straighten them, but we have some of this bar, which is slightly grooved. So this will actually be better for grip with your boots and your hands. So we're gonna cut some of these off and we're gonna replace them with these. Just a bit of aesthetics. There's a few little bits like here and here, what we're just gonna cut off a few sharp edges. We're gonna jet wash the entire thing and then give it a lick of paint.
Noel and I had a fort. Um, we're going to put down some uh, Jersey barriers uh, just around this to protect it. And this will kind of map out exactly uh, where the barrier is going to sit. So here it comes. This forklift does put the hours in. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's put it down. Out. Do you feel strong? No I just want to nip. I just want to nip that out a little bit. Do you reckon we can move it? No way. They're about two ton each, aren't they? Bro, you're strong. Do you think you can move it? No, nah, mate, no. Nah. I swear, I reckon we can move it, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I reckon we can move it. Finger. Sorry. One, two, three. Right, one. Wait on. Did it move? I think it did a little bit. It moved, didn't it? It didn't it? Right, you ready? Three. You start training next. One, two, three. Not a little bit. Nah. <laughs> really? Nah. nah, I think it moved a little bit. Yeah, I think it did the first time, but it's not again. Let me just get a bar and just leave it. Yeah, up. let's get a bar. You can reach the handle. But that's going to be a bit. It's a bit annoying. Ah, oh, nah, do you know what? It's all right. But if you watch the action replay, it did move. I'm telling you, watch it again. I felt it move. I felt the power. I already moved it when you were gone. You've noticed the gap is bigger, yeah. So arm barrier will be here, up, down, barrier, barrier, concrete here. You can come out of here, walk in front of this area. Hello, uh, ID, where were you on the night of the 13th? Back inside barrier up. We're gonna have here the uh, intercom at two heights. So we're gonna have it at a car height and we're gonna have it at, um, at the lorry height, just in case there's nobody in the security hut. Why does nobody look as happy as I do about this? It's a great job, no? Miserable people, man. This is a great job, man. Don't he look like the Grim Reaper when he's standing there? With, 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 like a yeah. He thinks he looks like a shepherd. I think he looks like the Grim Reaper. 4:29, and I feel like we have absolutely smashed the day. The amount of things that have got done. The day's not over yet, you know. I'm gonna get my second wind. I'll try and train. I don't know if I've got time. It's a bit demotivating just only being able to train your legs, but but no one else is keeping up. I'm sending email, 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 and I'm sitting there waiting and nothing's coming through. I keep resetting the internet thinking it's not coming through, but it's just everyone isn't keeping up with my pace. In it, Tezza. It's Wednesday and I'm in the yard. Um, now that we've stripped this container out on the top of it's um, watertight, I'm gonna stick another container on top of it, but that one will be office-based. Um, this will be for more for storage because it doesn't have a lot of natural light. Uh, Noel and I were looking at 30 foot, but it's going to hang over too much on one side. So we're looking at 26 foot or the easiest option is 20 foot because it can sit on top here, exactly on top. But when did I ever go for the easy option? Going to go and have a sit down in the office. Arit is here. He's going through the auction video. I think he's got a couple of questions for me. Uh, Noel is still continuing with the work on our lovely bin and I'm gonna try and collect the other bin tomorrow and I'm gonna chase up again uh, the supplier who has the flatbed because they're not getting back to me. You're saying that van is, no, no, really? I thought that van was a Euro 6. I thought it was new, it looks new. Not because you kept it clean. Don't try it, don't try it, don't try it, don't try it. It's not because he kept it. 
On the draft, I keep it clean. It's the dents that you've done with your driving. No, no, it's but the dents that I didn't do. You live within the, the thing in October. Inside the what? The... I don't live inside the North Circular. Do you not? No. Yeah, but it's not the North Circular, it's the M25 it's in October. No, I was looking at this one being known for the mate yesterday. Really? So the lorry's a thing, but the van so the can still run. Currently, from, uh -huh. what was it, March it changed. Yeah. So basically, is this fine in October? Yes. Very good, if my you friend. Stay the north if I stay outside the North Circular. You must stay outside the North Circular, my friend. I should have said no, really. I kind yeah. of lined myself up for a new. <laughs> I was thinking more scooter, mate. <laughs> Just so you know, the Volvo tippers that we dropped off at Jay Radford last week, they are actually complete, and Action Signs are going there tomorrow um, to do the artwork on them, and then hopefully I'll bring them back here Thursday afternoon or Friday morning. Looking forward to seeing them. But of course, that's a separate video. Soon I have to leave the yard. Um, I'm going to a film premiere later. Andrew Southern, who you see me interview in the past, click here to watch that video. Also, Andrew Southern, who you saw, um, ran the Guildford project. That was his project, the 100 million pound plus build. Also click here to watch that video. Um, Andrew has got into films and Rise of the Foot Soldier Origins. I've been invited to the premiere later today. So I have to get home and try and spruce myself up. And we're blocking the lorries from getting out of the yard. So let's let him go. Raz. One of the volumetrics is just coming back in, loading up cement, material, and water. Hey! Well, I didn't lie, it is the Asheville Water Tower. Um, guys, uh, this is one of the final prototypes of the Asheville Water Towers, what will be available for sale soon. As you can see, it is exactly the same in every way, as the authentic Asheville water tower, apart from the little changes we're gonna make. Can you imagine the disrespect? Stainless steel on the top. We're gonna to change that to black. The entire thing is stainless steel and powder coated. So this is now gonna be black and we are gonna move this up a little bit more and we're gonna use the same logo up there. We're gonna use the same Asheville logo, which is made out of concrete. So I'm really happy with this and it is now in production and these will be available soon. You driver, yeah? These boys wouldn't want you out. <laughs> You're right, these boys, they're not the only one who wouldn't want you out on the road. <laughs> so I'm, he said, oh yeah, I think I'll be okay. That guy I, I saw. I practice tipping and everything. I said, yeah. yeah, no, good mate, well done. Cameron called me, you need to come look at this. He's mounted the weight. He's gone around the corner, and the second axle studs are sitting on the weight room. Oh no, no. Do you send him home, yeah? No, I just can get him back. See you later. Good. Fine, forget that. Go on a bit. Huh? Bro, there's hot water in there, man. <laughs> Bro, there's hot water in there. Don't, don't come accustomed to, to this. Because you might think that it's part of the starter pack here, and it's definitely not. It's, it's just, just, just like this now. It's just slightly out of reach for you. <laughs> can't get this. You know they say you can't get with this, or you can't get with this. Yeah. All right, trying to cause any more damage. <laughs> you know a man thinks he's funny? What's it meant to look like? I nearly bit. I nearly bit. I didn't bite. You ain't got it on camera. I nearly bit. I ne What's it meant to look like, is it? A lorry. <laughs> it's meant to be a lorry, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Rav, come, stop filming this nincompoop. Now, here we are in central London. Uh, had to go home and spruce myself up a little bit. Can you imagine today I'm wearing a blazer? <laughs> put on about a, bla a blazer as well as I put on a high vis. Left in good time. So, I'm gonna go and meet Andrew at Cineworld right now. Managed to find a parking space, all good. In Leicester Square with my manager, Harry. Um, it's so busy, have a look at this. past 12, uh, nearly home, um, 
good to see um, Andrew's film debut. He's very happy with it, and I'm very happy for him. Um, got a busy day tomorrow. I really want to go and collect those other bins. And um, I'm waiting for a response on a 20-foot container, which I found, which I haven't had any responses on yet. I really need to get these things sorted out before my surgery on Monday, because I'll ba basically be out of action on Monday. I'll probably be in a lot of pain on Tuesday. I'm still going to go to work. I'm still going to see what I can do, but I need to get so much done before them. And on Sunday, we've got Who's Got Game. So plenty going on I will try and get my head down and get an element of sleep but it definitely won't be enough but it will do catch you in the morning uh, Thursday and I'm in the yard it's uh, 3.46 Jay has just returned back from Jay Radford's and they've finished the sign writing on the Volvo lorries, which I'm gonna try and collect in the morning. Now, you know the whole saga with the flatbed for the hook loader? I've managed to organize that already. We know somebody who's going up to Doncaster on a flatbed to drop off a machine, and it just so happens that is round the corner from where the flatbed is. So they're gonna put the flatbed on and bring it back. So they get a return load. Also, I'm in the final discussions about a container, a 20-foot container, which I wanna Put on top of the one what we're going to refurb here and hopefully that can be got tomorrow as well so tomorrow i have to try and collect two lorries have to try and collect a bin and have to um try and sort out this container well at 10 o'clock i have to go for my test before my surgery on monday so that is a lot to be done in a day hopefully i can get it all done over friday and saturday in other news i was having a problem with the internet in my new office uh, so we set some static IPs, there's still a problem. So we have a cable, a uh, fiber optic cable, which is terminated by the manufacturer, which is running from the office upstairs, the ethernet switcher, all the way to the Waybridge. So the two ethernet switches in both, in the media racks, are connected by fiber cable, because that's far too long for a Cat5. So we measured up today to have a cable made, so one goes into one and it goes into the other. So we're now gonna go from ethernet switcher upstairs and a 10 meter cable to the ethernet switcher down here and a 22 meter cable to go from the ethernet switcher down here to my office and hopefully that will get rid of some of the interference. I hope so anyway because it's very annoying that the internet keeps dropping out and I can't get on the local network here. So I'm trying to resolve a number of issues all at the same time and at the same time I'm still trying to plan what I'm doing with the security hut outside. So there's a hundred things going on and each of them are 50%. So I'm trying to bring them all to 80% and then hopefully all will complete at the same time. That's the plan anyway. Friday and I'm in the yard, um, when I had my test this morning, all good for surgery on Monday. As I pulled in, the bin was just returning. The bin looks a little bit different now it's arrived in the yard. This is going to need some more work than the other bin we had, but the chassis on it is relatively strong. Like the auction video, you win some, you lose some. Click here to watch that video. Bit of work needs to be done on the hinges. There's a couple of parts on the body there where the bottom looks like it's gone. We haven't got inside it yet, but now we've got no time to do this. So the driver that brought this back, he's now going to get both the Volvos. The 20 foot office container, um, we are collecting at about half two. Now it may come here today and it may come tomorrow, but what I want to do is I want to drop it in the middle of the yard. I want to jet wash it down because there's no point jet washing it once I put it on top of the other one because I'm just going to get um, rubbish everywhere. I'm going to dirty it. So we're going to use the 26 ton Liebe and we're going to lift it into place on top of the other one but we're going to make sure cleaning it and whatever we're going to do is done on the ground first lee bear are also in the yard uh, servicing one of the loading shovels i can see the man's got the computer out there doing some work on it let's have a look Okay, it wasn't a service. 
both shovels were down on power so the other one was a DPF filter which has been regenerated and this one is just checking all the temperatures and pressures um, running a couple of things through with the computer so hopefully this will be sorted as well very good you've got to keep on top of your kit you've got to make sure you maintain it and look after it because ultimately um, these machines are what make this entire yard run that and people people are the most important thing sorry but i'm definitely making sure that my people are all working properly in it that it's hard to keep up with Noel. but internally and externally we've done all the repairs and welding that we're going to do now let's begin the spray work and get this nice and black I'm happy to say both the Volvos are now back in the yard and they are this color. Obviously I can't show it to you because again in the main video, Noel is gonna start work tomorrow morning on the servicing of both of those and all the other little bits of repair work he's got to do, but they should be on the road early next week. Saturday morning, I'm in the yard. Uh, no time to tell you what's going on because the container has arrived. At the same time, Michael is taking the fantastic Asheville sign off the side of the gym. Go, go! Sign is gone, so it won't be hidden behind the new container. Perfect place where the new one is going to go. Let's go and have a look at the state of it. It looks relatively ugly, but don't worry about that because the structural integrity is fine. This needs a blast. Now, we're not going to use the normal jet wash. If you remember a uh, day in the life at the beginning, I'm telling people off for using the whizzer head because it's a lot more powerful. Go here to watch that video, day in the life. We are going to use the whizzer head and we are going to take off all the loose bits on it. And then we're going to move it up there. But having a look inside, I think I'm now going to get the boys to take out the main bits here because once it's up there, it's going to be a lot more hard work. So let's get on with it. actually check if it fits but I think that should be wise but when you buy a 20 foot container you assume that a 10, 20 foot container will fit on top of a 20 foot container so we'll have an inch and a half hanging off each side now we'll do a tack weld um, on all four um, points to keep it in place width wise it's bang on we're in a good place this is like the quickest Asheville demolition job ever 12 and a half minutes inside of the container gutted but we're going to keep the timber frame going around there's no point in taking that off because that's perfectly good
having a look, I'm very thankful that we've blasted it off. You can see all the debris around here, what's come off the container. That whiz ahead really takes it off. And now we've had a look inside, we can see two areas where it's been driven down. So when we move it over there, what we're going to do is put an acro sink and kind of jack it up. So we're going to jack the roof up. We do not want the roof like this. We want it to get it as level as we possibly can because we don't want any water to sit on top. Other than that, it looks like a pretty sound container. There are some little um, holes here and there, but we can always fill those with silicone or CT1. So yep, definitely a good purchase. We're gonna have to um, move this container out of the way. And Noel has convinced me, I was gonna try and just lift it straight up there, but Noel has said, no, we're gonna leave it down here because it's gonna make it easier to do the decorating rather than have to put up uh, temporary towers and everything to paint it safely. So we're gonna leave it down here just in front of the other container. Then we're gonna lift it in place and carry on the refurb upstairs. So let's get this container container move because we've had a call and the ex-army flatbed will also be here in an hour so we need to get this out of the way and that's coming. We're gonna have to spin it. We're gonna have to spin it. I've had to grab my DJI uh, because we are struggling to get Weekly out. So Dan is working on Weekly. Um, he's trying to sort it out. Ara's here waiting as well. And now we're doing more in the yard. So I cannot expect everyone to do everything at once. Where the waste oil is, there's a temporary roof above it. We're cutting the timber of the roof. We're gonna move one of the jersey barriers from the gap between the container and the stairs. We're gonna pull that out and then we're gonna move the bottom container over. So when we put the top container on top, the new stairs don't block the entrance to get past the existing stairs. So we're just pulling this out to give us a bit of space. Playing a bit of musical, musical chairs with containers. Thank you. Are these the ones you got to replace mine, no? Uh, no, I gave you your ones. No, you didn't. I think I gave you your ones. No. Let's have selected mine way again. What we do is take the weight. Oh! Yeah. Kung Fu kick there by Noel. We saw one of those last week, yeah, taking, the, taking the bucket yeah. off. Out it comes, look how tight that is. And we're clear. Now to set it down. And if we have a look here, we can see the space that that has created. Perfect, get the oil out of the way. So now we can now move this container over. When this goes on top of it, then the stairs, which are gonna be exactly like this, those stairs will sit along here and they won't come out too far to here. If I didn't explain it good the first time, I know I explained it better the second time. Doing a few alterations to the scaffold. Don't worry, we'll put all the supports back. We still have our temporary roof. We have our waste oil container here and we have the barrier moved and we have space to move the container over. We're just trying to drag it across while we're doing it on both sides. Jiggling it about here, but now we've got it nice and tight. Noel's measuring uh, the roof of the gym to see if when we put this on top of that, if there'll be enough room. Forward thinking. Yeah. That'll do, that'll do. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. 
now that's it, for now. This can be decorated over the week and then we can put it on top and when we put it on top we're not going to have to worry about moving anything around again because we now have the clearance at the back with the roof of the gym. Day ain't over yet. Oh, is it 7.50? Oh. Someone's winding me up, have a look at that. Someone's winding me up. Yeah. Bit of heavy hauling jumps up. So just then, uh, we tried to get into the yard and he couldn't. So what we're doing now, we've activated the trailer wheels. So when the lorry steers in, those wheels will steer out and then hopefully he can clear the gate. Oh, I thought it was mine to keep. It's not much of a gift then. You can have it. I can? Yeah. yeah. Memento. There we go. I've done well out of this. with everything that comes from the army it's solid like it's it's good it's very good quality we've got a couple of problems the chassis is facing the other way so on the roll on roll off where the clamps go on to hold it on the body the chassis is actually running the other way but Noel said that we can um we can get around it but we could just cut a little square so we'll cut a little square in the chassis so the locks can go in but this doesn't actually have any um wheels at the back if you have a look on all the bins they've got wheels when you're dragging it this doesn't but Noel says we can also weld that on at that end so those are the just a few alterations we need to make and we need to make it black but let me tell you what a strong bit of I'm very happy with this. You can see in the corners as well, like this, uh, the other container behind, you could put it straight on top of this and you could lock it in. So you could lock containers in, we can put machines on this, we could put bags of material on this, and we can use this bar on the side to tie everything down. Really good purchase. After a few amendments, this will serve us very well. It was a very long Saturday, but we managed to get everything in order. I didn't want to burden everyone with the things that I wanted doing. I know I could have got other people to do it, but I wanted things in a certain way. Uh, tomorrow I've got Who's Got Game, and then Monday morning I've got surgery. Uh, I feel a little bit better that a lot of stuff is in place and a lot of stuff is here that Noel can carry on and work on. <sighs> Sunday afternoon, it's nearly half four. We're at Who's Got Game. You know the man who keeps making cameos? Dr. Tunde. One day, one day I'll make a cameo in this video too. Right, one day he'll also be in this week one, at Yanni Mai's. Happy to be here, I'd say it's a completely different vibe, isn't it? Yeah, it's great, great setup, great, great arena. It's a sellout today. These guys are raising money for charity, which is what it's all about. The aim is to use basketball as a viable solution to deter kids from street crime. That's it. So, so come together. Yeah. Your, boy, your boy had a couple of shots as well. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Missed them all. No, 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 no. Loads of friends, loads of positivity here. I really love it. I can't wait for the game to start. Of course, Yan and I got those courtside seats. You know when you watch, you see Diddy and you see Jay-Z at a New York Knicks game. That's about how I'm feeling right now. Those seats there, look, we put the jumper over it as well. Them two seats there, yeah? Like we're going to the beach, and you know you go down and you lay the towel out. You're on the sunbed before the yeah, night. Yeah, we don't want no one to see in our seat. <laughs> in typical diva fashion, they have to get the best seats. What are we talking about? It's not diva fashion. I want to be able to enjoy the experience. Excuse me, when you come QPR. All right.
going on, but I felt a different kind of shot go through my neck. I think tomorrow they got to fix my shot. Dad, my neck. But this man was brave. This man held on. He was very brave. We make a good team. You're going to give the kick back? No, I think I'm going to keep holding this. You know, when you go through an experience with someone, you're closer. You're closer now. I don't think I'm going to let him down. Do you know the shot that went through my neck? No. I'm not sure what happened to me. You're right. You're right. This man sucks. This man's worried about himself. What was that? Game's on, game's on, game's on with DJ. It's still going. Right, that's it. The game is over. I didn't play, but I... Click here for the Ashford website. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here to see a video on us selling six of our older lorries at auction and click here for last week's episode, which was number 47. It was number 47, wasn't it?